I know you are writing down the top 10 questions or the top 20 questions to ask your hair renders before you start a hair business. Um, this video, I'm going to share one of the most important questions that most of the ladies will ignore when they ask the hair renders questions. And it is very important to define your hair business, uh, how to move and where to move. Like this question is, is your hair ethically sourced? Or how do you ethically source your hair extension? It's very, very important because this uh, we define the prices of the hair extension and we define the quality of the hair extension. For example, whether you pay good to your workers or not, we affect the prices of the hair. Also, we affect the quality of the hair because when you don't pay them good wages, they are not working. Uh, in a happy way and they don't pay attention to make good extension ways for your customers whether uh, you provide them good conditions to work good environment also we affect the quality I know most of the hair factories we pay less to the workers to gain more margins from the hair business like I search a lot of information how hair factories work and how they do business. Like in China, uh, some of them will pay low price, uh, low wages. Um, they don't care about the environment. It's very, very important to remember when you bleach their, uh, when you bleach their hair, like this, when you bleach their hair, the factories will we produce a lot of pollution to the environment whether they have good equipment to control the pollution or not like whether they invest enough to, to, to control the damage into the environment we also affect the quality of the hair and the prices of the hair because once uh, we invest more that means uh, we are putting more uh, cost to the production and the margin is less, 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 you know. And China, in some areas for this hair industry, the government builds a lot of uh, village parks, the, the industrial, like industrial parks for the factories to stay together, this area to uh, produce this kind of uh, products so they can have, uh, have a focus on controlling the pollution, the supply chain, um, uh, uh, to govern the industrial better. Uh, of course, it, it we also uh, make the cost higher. So uh, some factories, they don't want to go to the industrial parks, uh, st still stay in the village because they will control the cost very, very less. Um, but also we cause damage to the village, to damage the environment. We have a high, a less, high or less margin to the products. And as you know, uh, you know how China becomes the biggest export in, uh, in the world, because at the beginning, norm uh, normally people don't really pay attention to the environment, um, uh, how ethically, sourcing their hair extension um, uh, like they if they have a very good face in the business for example when we collect the hair sometimes we collect the hair from the hair salons and some ladies will come to the salons they will cut their long hair they don't want hair and some ladies they don't know they can sell the hair and the collectors don't tell them. If the collectors don't tell them, they will pay very, very less to the donors. And that's not fair. Whether it is fair or not, uh, is ethical or not. So they don't pay them good. They just pay very less and to collect the hair. We also affect uh, the prices and affects the margins. So in this hair business there, you, you have a lot of aspects to consider. Um, I find out that people they don't normally they, they don't consider this aspect whether you source their hair ethically 
you pay them, pay the workers good, pay the donors good, you have good environments for people to work, you treat people well or not. Um, uh, you, uh, whether they are very old uh, ladies, uh, like 70 years old, 60 years old, 65 years old, they're still working in the factory. Um, if the factory's owners pay them good or not, it's also a fair surprises because all we, uh, we try to do is to control the cost. Um, only few owners we do in an uh, ethical way for the hair business. Um, so we affect the, the prices and the quality. But you need to remember the aspects uh, uh, from three aspects. If you don't pay the workers good, they will move around and around to find a good place who will pay them good. So this will cause uh, the, the bad flowing for the industrial, uh, the, the hair industrial. They don't focus and don't this thing long enough and you, you don't have you don't have good uh, connections to work in this industry. That's why you when you search on the internet you will find a lot of uh, ladies they are changing hair renders again and again you, you, you search on Google how to find a good hair render uh, how to find a good hair partner you know all these questions are asked again and again on the internet and it's a top it's a top questions to ask so it is because this hair industry is changing again and again and the the core aspects the core aspects are what i'm telling you to call to cause this hair industry changing again and again because they don't pay them good they move to another place another place another place uh, uh, some hair factories they don't do the hair business in an ethical way so uh, uh, people in this industry are not happy they move again and again and not stable the quality is not stable once you are, you don't provide them uh, a good uh, conditions to work uh, you don't uh, treat them well uh, people will move again and again it's like this is the core aspects to consider it's not like once the one customer asks me the questions like uh, they send me the message uh, why this happened uh, in China a lot uh, because they don't uh, most of the hair factories, factories they only consider how to control the cost how to control the cost of course People from US, from Europe, they are also looking for very, very low, 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 low price. And they say they want quality. Yes, most of you want quality, but most of you ignore this very, very core question. And you need to do your research and you need to visit your, your partner. Maybe for some time you come to stay with them again and you observe how they do business how they uh, work with people is very, very important. Maybe at the beginning, the price is a little bit higher, but going a little bit lower, is just a, a time of, a, a matter of time, because once you have this partner, it's a very, very good beginning for you because it can secure your business. You know this man, uh, how he do business, uh, will be good for the long term. It's not just at the beginning, at the beginning low price, and you don't know, you don't know how they control the prices. And this, from this aspect, I'm telling you, you know now how people control the prices and quality. Um, and you are very, very uh, surprised how some hair renders they sell very, very low price, unbelievable, incredibly low price. In the US, in the Euro, or in Africa, there's another aspect again. This aspect is uh, the export, export rebate. Export, uh, when people export their products out of China, they can get the rebates from the government. So, for example, if this cost is $1, maybe they will just export as $1.1. Or even one dollar, they don't earn money, but they get rebate, export rebate from the governments, from the governments. But 
you know what? This business cannot be long term. If people are earning money from the export rebate and they don't uh, focus on their, their business, their products, they just want to collect the money very fast and sell the products and dump, dump the products in this way. It's not long term. Like some, some governments, they will charge very, very high taxes. They charge very, very high taxes from Chinese products. It is because of this export rebate. Export, they know people, uh, Chinese factories get export rebates from the government. And when they don't sell the pro products for margins, they just get margins from the, the government. But this can exist for a long time. It will soon affect your business. It will affect your business. Trust me. If your business is doing very, very good, very, very good, and you need to ask your, your suppliers whether you are getting the export rebates from the government because when you ask these questions, you are considering the business in the long term because you want to be your business to be a very lasting uh, business, a very great company. You don't want your suppliers uh, today, they are doing good, but tomorrow they might be doing very, very bad because they are doing something wrong. You understand me? They are doing something wrong and to affect your business, that would be very, very, very bad. So when you were so, uh, so let's get back to the hair business. When you asked, uh, are looking for hair vendors, you have a lot of aspects to consider. It's not just like, uh, uh, do you, uh, like these questions, is your hair, Remy hair or, uh, or virgin hair or raw hair. Of course, hair renders, we know how to answer your questions. And we know how to answer your questions. You ask these very simple questions. Is, but these questions, you are going to change how to ask your, your renders questions. I suggest you how to ask your renders questions. Not those simple questions because they know how to answer you. So this video, I'm just sharing uh, whether the hair is ethical resource or not, you, you can watch again and again to understand these very, very important questions, ethical resource and also ethically exporting, you know, ethically exporting, uh, considering the export, considering the export rebate. Very, very important questions. Uh, to me, I think it's very important questions. If you want to build a very long, term business with your suppliers um, if you have any questions or if you don't know how to ask your suppliers questions you can leave your comments or contact me and I can teach you how to ask your suppliers questions so you and uh, uh, how to expect a better answer that they will not tell you that you will not learn from internet because this information are all private they will not share and this video i'm sharing you with you i think no vendors will share this kind of questions with you i'm very very grateful um, uh, thoughtful because uh a lot of people they tell me that my YouTube videos help them a lot when they start a business. Um, uh, tomorrow, I have one friend who is coming to China and need my help for some products. Some products, they uh, some people are starting to ask me for help exporting some products uh, uh, besides their hair products. But this is the future topics I will share with you, not now. Um, I'm, I'm happy to help more and more people. This will... So this is the... This one for celebrities. This one for celebrities. This one. Okay. Leave your comments or contact me if you have any questions to 
us. And I have more topics like I have other questions to share with you. One video I will just want to share one question that may benefit your the business. So subscribe, subscribe, waiting for new questions I'm going to share. Subscribe or comment or contact me.